Today I'm going to capture SDR IQ streams from two different devices, from the Hacker RF1 and from the SDR Play Dual. And I'm going to be using SDR GLUT to do this. And it permits you to capture simultaneously from two devices if you want to. You only need one, of course, but and uh, play it back simultaneously. And so it lets you look at things in real time. Okay, so uh, let's open the Hacker RF1 at uh, 10 megahertz. And we'll open the uh, RS Play Dual. And we'll use it in single tuner mode. We could use dual tuner mode if we wanted to capture more streams, but we'll settle with single dual tuner mode. And uh, now we'll t t go to uh, narrowband AM on the Hacker F1 and go to narrowband AM. Of course, it doesn't really matter since we're capturing it both. But, okay, so we have it uh, on the 10 megahertz band here, and they're simultaneously playing. And so now I'll set it up to uh, record, and you just go down to uh, recording, IQ recording, and then you need to set the, uh, the path. Okay, so I set the record path for the Hacker RF1, and uh, we'll just put it on the desktop. And we'll set the record path for the uh, RSP Dual. Also put it on the desktop. And uh, now we can start recording. So I'll, I'll turn on the record. And so it's simultaneously recording uh, from both devices, and it's writing it to a local file, which when, it, when it's done writing, we can open the file and, and uh, read the data. And it's recording the entire band here. So it's recording the full 2 megahertz bandwidth in this case. It'll record more bandwidth if you want to, or less bandwidth if you want to. And uh, now we'll stop recording. All right. And we'll close close these windows. And uh, now we'll open the files that I've created on the desktop. Okay, so here's the file created by the Hacker RF1. Or the, yeah, Hacker RF1. And uh, get the file re recorded by the uh, SBR dual. So here's the dual file. And so now we're playing both files uh, simultaneously. And we can um, do the IQ playback. And what this does is you can set them to any offset. And normally the offset you want to set them to is zero, at least initially. And so now they're both both uh, locked. And so we can go down And so you can see all the channels here. And now we'll go down. So we're locked. And uh, now we'll tune the RSP dual.
And we need to set it to narrow band AM. And so here you can hear it playing on the uh, RSP Dual. Take it off a of mute here. And so now it's simultaneously playing the two files, one for the Hacker RF1 and one for the uh, RSP Dual. And so it's very convenient if you want to compare uh, their capabilities because you can you can uh, turn one of them off and play one of them and then you can start the playback and then turn the other one on so now they're both off and switch back and forth between turning them on and off and so that lets you <clears throat> not only play it back, but if you want to make comparisons, you can make comparisons between the, the various different channels. And so that's it. That's basically how you uh, can record and play back the ARC IQ data from uh, the uh, SDR software, SDR play programs.